Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk. This is the brand new Honor 20 Lite that is due to be released in the UK around the 15th of May. So on the channel previously, there's been other videos, make sure you go and check them out. But today we're gonna to focus on accessibility. Now, as you may know or may not know, I'm actually visually impaired. So looking at these settings is a key highlight for me on every device. So today we're gonna to see how well they work on the Honor 20 Lite. So to find your settings, first of all, there are two options. You can either go through the settings or you can actually press and hold the volume keys together. So accessibility shortcut will pop up here and as you can see you can read through and we can hit OK. Talk back on. Talk back is a screen reader primarily for people with blindness and low vision. It allows interaction with the device using spoken feedback. Talk back tutorial. So what we can do is go home. Home. Button. Huawei home. Weather. Double tap and hold to long press. So now it's actually going to highlight and you can highlight everything on your display and get information. So I can tap the time. I can tap different icons. So let's start up here at the top. Full Wi-Fi signal. Twitter notification. Tech enthusiast. NFC enabled. Ringer vibrate. 57%. 11.43. So it will highlight everything and then read it back to you, which is really good. I can then go into an application. Play Store. Double tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. It will tell you what you need to do as well, which is really good. And then you can go into the settings. Settings. So I double tap and settings. now I'm in my settings. Wireless and networks, Wi-Fi, dual SIM settings, mobile network, in list 18 items. To go through a list, you'll use two fingers and you'll hear a tone. That knows if you're going up or down as well, which is really good. And then once I stop, it's gonna actually tell me what's at the top of the list. So that is talk back and that is in your main settings. But with this here, you can really highlight everything you need to know and understand everything that you potentially can't see with your device due to your visually impairment. I don't like to use the word blindness as they've used. I'm not too happy with that word but I would say visually impairment. And from a person that does have a visually impairment, it's nice to have that talk back feature on here and as a very quick shortcut. So to turn this off, press and hold the volume keys again. Talk back off. And it will say talk back has gone off, which is really good. And then I can take you through the bulk of the actual settings. So to find this, go into settings which is the gear icon on your front home screen. Coming down to the bottom, it's something called Smart Assistance and it is a orange icon. So inside here, you have a couple of options that we're gonna go through, but the one main one is accessibility here at the top. So it's divided into categories and the first one is audio. As I've gone through it already is talkback and that's everything I've shown you there with that shortcut and talkback was preset to the shortcut. So I don't see no point going through that but it is exactly the same and you can follow through the tutorials as well. There is another option which is select to speak, which is different and I'm gonna show you this. So if I toggle select to speak on, we're gonna hit okay. You're then gonna get a new icon down here at the bottom and you must have the icons on. You can't use this with gesture control. So if I tap here and then press play. Navigate up, select to speak, settings, select to speak, about. When select to speak is on, you can tap specific items on your screen to hear them aloud. So it's a really helpful thing. It will actually go from where you want it to instead of reading everything and then you can turn it on and off very simple. So if I press stop here and press it again, then actually press somewhere. About. I'll just hear that one word. It won't read everything, which is really good and a good option to have here on your device if you need something, but without the full talkback feature. Underneath that is text-to-speech. The text-to-speech is where you can change your speech rate and your pitch. So you can make it go really fast as well, or you can make it go a lot louder and a lot deeper. Underneath here, you can reset your speech rate and then you can also reset your speech pitch. Then you can listen to an example. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. And then I can make it really fast. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. Which makes it really fast. Press that reset and it's done. And then default language as well. So it's nice to change and adjust for people that are used to this and need to make it a lot faster as well. So underneath that is mono audio. So you have the ability to use mono audio. One other feature I do like to see on devices is captions here. And you can change and adjust your captions for subtitles. Then we move on to a new category, visual. You have color correction. So inside color correction here, you can toggle this on. And then you can go through and select which ones you want. And it's nice that they do offer an option now, whereas they didn't used to. You have magnification gestures here, so I can toggle this on, 
one, two, three, three quick taps, and I'm zoomed in. It's this large 6.21 inch display, and it's a really big display as well with not too many bezels or a massive notch. It's just got a tiny dew drop notch there. So one, two, three will bring me back. And then obviously you can do another way as well. One, two, and then on the third, if you'd use one finger, you can quickly fly around and you can see the screen is so responsive as well. Whatever I'm doing, it's doing that. As soon as I release, it undoes and then it goes back to normal. Then you have large mouse pointer. So you have the ability to use a large mouse pointer or cursor with this device. You have color inversion. So with color inversion, you need to turn off high contrast text and then you'll be able to turn this on. And that's where you get a white text on a black background, making it a little bit easier to read and understand what's on your display. But once you go home, you can see it's changed all of the colors though. So please bear in mind, it's not a dedicated dark mode. So if I turn this off, so once that's turned off, I can then then use high contrast text as well and as you can see it makes it a little bit bolder and a little bit easier to read. So underneath that is advanced color effects that give you color extraction, blur and shadow. So this is where it will help and really pull them colors out in your content and your photographs and it adds a little bit more color to your device. So interaction controls, you have switch access, which I really like to see and it's a new feature that are coming across to most devices now. This is where you can use switches and interaction devices with your mobile phone to make it easier for you to use. So if you can't actually use your hands on the display, you can use an interaction switch or different services to actually interact with your phone, which I think is a really good option to have. You have accessibility shortcut, which I showed you, uses the two volume keys there pressed together at the same time. You have touch and hold delay. So this is with a bit of a shake or a dexterity issue. You can have a delay once you touched it and then it won't happen if you accidentally touch it as well. You have auto click after cursor stops moving. So this is when you use a large cursor or mouse pointer. The power button can end the calls and the power button is on the right hand side here and is the smaller one of the two that's on the right hand side. Sadly, there's no textual difference as some devices do make, but that's a shame and there's no color variant either. At the bottom, it's just showing any downloaded services that you might have got as well. So that's a really good amount of accessibility settings. It's near enough the same as what you're gonna find on the high range devices and the premium range devices, except for a couple of other features. You have high touch as well. High touch is more like a shopping experience on a device where you put two fingers on and it will highlight that product that's on the display and try and find it for you. But it's only linked through Amazon, which is a shame. I think it needs to just be linked through the Google search engine and then you can use that better. That option can also be used in the camera feature as well. You do have motion control here as well. So you have flip. So if you show flip here, it can mute incoming calls. It can also mute timers and alarms. So it has the flip motion. You have the pickup motion as well. That will reduce ringtone volume for calls coming in, reduce timers and alarm volume, and actually wake your device. So I'm actually gonna turn on the wake in the device. So that's nice to have. And then finally, you have three finger screenshot. So if I turn this on, so one, two, three, pull down. There's my screenshot there. And now I can do whatever I want with it. And then I can share and save that to whatever I want to do. So that's really good and handy to have. And I like the motions that they have on here. Again, this is not as much as what you're going to find on their flagship devices, like on the View 20 and the new 20 device that comes out. But it's nice that they still have these options on here. You just have mistouch prevention. So that means if I touch over here and touch over here, it just means it knows when I'm actually making a mistake potentially, which is a really good feature to have. You have scheduled power on and off, so you can power it on and off at different times, depending on what you want to do, or if it's a child's device, you can power it off at certain times, and then with that passcode, they might not be able to get back into it, which is a good thing. You have system navigation here at the bottom, so you can either choose gesture control, you have the three key navigation, or you have the navigation dot. My most popular one to use is the gesture control. But if I want to use that select to speak or any accessibility features, you need the three key navigation one. So the choice is yours depending on what you want to do. So with navigation, it's very simple. Just swipe back to go back, swipe up to go home, swipe and hold to get all of your application. The one other thing I want to just highlight here is some settings are put into display, which is a little bit frustrating. So one of them is eye comfort. So with a two Vryland certification, it does have high comfort control on here. If I toggle this on, 
you will notice it goes yellow as well with a bright studio light. This will really help as it will reduce the harsh blue light that will shine into your eyes during nighttime when you need to actually make it a bit darker and a bit dimmer to get ready to go to bed. So toggle that off there and you can see how bright and vibrant that is. And the other one that I want to talk about is text and display size. So currently I have the largest text so that could do with being a little bit bigger, but the display size can also go up as well. And as you'll see, you've got some previews here as well. So you can change and adjust these depending. You can also make them smaller as well if you want to. You don't have to go bigger, you can make them smaller. So that is all the accessibility settings you're going to find on the brand new Honor 20 Lite. If you have any questions or any queries about any of these settings or if you need to know something before you potentially go and buy this device either leave a comment down below or go into a phone shop and ask. This device will be sold at John Lewis. I know they are very helpful to go in and ask about devices, as well as Carphone Warehouse, Argos, AO, Very. There's loads of places. Amazon even have this device as well. But if you are struggling with the device, go and have a look at it first. They will have review units on display that are working, and you can go and have a look before you purchase. For me personally, there's enough settings on here to recover majority of people with their different abilities, but there are other devices that offer a lots more as well. Thanks always for watching and if you do have any questions or queries leave a comment down below and if you have enjoyed this video hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to start updated with all the latest videos from Tech Talk. From me Ricky I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.